Welcome to my last Halloween haul of 2018. I reviewed quite a lot of stores this season. Last year I only made one Halloween haul video and it included three stores. One of them was Kmart because some of you suggested I go there. I was kind of surprised because I don't think of Kmart when I think of high design Halloween items, but I was even more surprised when I went there. What I found was that they had a line of high design Halloween housewares designed by Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith is an actress best known to old people like me as the star of a 1970s show called Charlie's Angels. Well, bless her heart, because some of the items I found designed by her, I still use to this day year round. Like these Raven kitchen towels and this Raven kitchen mat. Needless to say, I was excited to see what Kmart had to offer this Halloween season. So I went in August when Michaels already had all of their Halloween stuff out. But there weren't any Halloween items on display at Kmart. All I found were these weird black BDSM looking chickens. <coughs> They're absolutely terrible. But I bought a bunch of them. I don't even know why. Well, I talked to an employee and they said, you should come back in September. Well, I did go back in September. And there still were no Halloween items on display. Just more gimpy chickens. <coughs> and I bought even more of them. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I love them so much. <laughs> well, I talked to an employee and they said, listen, just come back in October. Well, I went back on October 1st and found some fall themed items like these wreaths and placemats, these goofy scarecrows and Thanksgiving porgs. Honestly, I don't know what these are supposed to be. There was no shortage of garish Thanksgiving kitchen towels. And finally, around the corner, I did find these few Halloween items. I thought this pot holder was kind of cool, as was this kitchen towel. But most of the others I found to be too garish, or just kind of weird. They had some items from last year, like these apothecary jars. And the cushions this year I thought were also kind of garish. The best one, in my opinion, was this sort of less cool version of one I bought at Michael's this year. They had the same designs as welcome mats. This one seemed to be saying, go away if you're looking for tasteful Halloween items at Kmart this year. I thought that maybe it was just my local Kmart that had so few Halloween items. So we went to the one in Midtown. <coughs> Silence! Upon entering, I was greeted by a very sparse selection of Halloween items. So sparse, in fact, that some of the items weren't even Halloween themed. And they had this other table with some other random Halloween items. I thought I might have more luck downstairs, but I didn't. Most of the aisles were just Halloween costumes. These were the few non-costume items they had. It seemed their focus was already on another holiday. Just to be sure my timing wasn't off, the second week of Halloween, I went to my downtown location again. And I found they were in full Christmas mode. The area where there were Halloween cushions was now filled with Christmas tree decorations. I did find these stray Halloween items though. They're meant to be hung on a wall, but since they're made of wood and they're elevated, I think I can use them on which to rest a hot teapot. Since the color scheme of the lair includes purple, I was intrigued by these crappy plastic pumpkins, though I'm not really sure I have a use for them. On the way out, I did find more of these. They're just so weird. Honestly, I can't resist them, so I bought a few more. Pretty much everyone hates the sound they make. I thought I'd test out my theory while there. Well, I have finally decided what I'm going to do with all of these gimpy rubber chickens. I'm going to start the Rubber Clucker Awards for things that truly suck. And maybe not so ironically, the very first Rubber Clucker Award is going to go to Kmart for dropping the ball so thoroughly this Halloween season. Ah! Better luck next year, Kmart. Ah!